to know um i'll give you a, a couple of things that i think after listening to it and playing along to the recording that i think make it to try to get his tone and get it to sound more like what he's doing other than like you know not being chuck berry like i think if you play everything with all downstrokes no alternate picking and don't use your pinky just use your first three fingers right because i've watched him play and that's usually how he plays because he has a big hand and he can just you know it's more natural for him to be using his ring finger but it makes a difference because I was playing along to it and I kept going like and then it finally I switched and went there's just a different attack right there's a heavier sharper attack when you downstroke and use your uh, ring finger instead of your pinky so anyway with that in mind let's get into it you're gonna slide in six to seven on G and then hit six to eight on B I thought he might have been using two strings that I was playing along to it, it didn't sound right. So we're going 6 7 G, 6 8 B, and then we're going to bar B and E on 5 and slide into 6. And the rhythm is going to be 1 2 3, 1 2 3, 1 2 3. All right, it's a real fast slide. All right, and then from there, this is what I was talking about with downstrokes and using your ring finger instead of your pinky. Because from here, we're going to go 9, 8, 6 on the B, right? And so when I watch him play, he kind of has that, you know, kind of thing where he's doing this, you know, <laughs> like everybody does when they play guitar, right? So but anyway, he has this thing where he just kind of, his, his hand is really flat. His finger is really flat, you know, he's not, he's not kind of arched up like this. I mean, he's really like flat. If you ever seen Hail Hail Rock and Roll, where he plays with Keith Richards and Eric Clapton, he always you can you can tell by his playing. That's kind of what gives it some of its its tone, right? So after you slide in, you get nine eight six. You're gonna go six seven on G, and then hit D twice on eight. And the second time you hit D, the attack's a little bit softer, right? subtle all right so then from there you're gonna have a and d on eight you're gonna palm mute it right and the rhythm's gonna be one two three one two three one two right you didn't kind of emphasize the one at the beginning of each series let it ring out a little more all right and then we're gonna finish it by going so you're gonna slide in six to seven on g and then hit seven and six GB together. Keep your index finger down and then hit your ring finger eighth fret on B string. Then let it off and just go back to seven, six. And then from there, we're gonna slide back from seven to five on G. And then three on G and end on five on D. And when he slides back, he gets this real like snappy throaty attack right he's going to reverse rake so just arch your finger over the b string hit, hit the b string dead with the g you can hear a difference here it is without it and with it so that's all it is right so everything's together real slow i'm running out of time that's everything just practice slow and have fun